I must say this is so exciting. We're actually at the Pepper Mill in Las Vegas. We are actually one of the only shows that is really going live on the Vegas Boulevard. It's like the strippers they call it. So I'm very excited because it's absolutely amazing. And of course it's Vegas Live with Nino and I'm Nino, your host. And the guests I've had absolutely um, how can I put it? They have not lost, um, they're all talented people, and they have not lost their talent. They're still doing it. They find all different ways to perform and do their talent. Mm -hmm. I have Treasure with me, uh, of the guy with the hat, and his two incredible young ladies. I don't even know your name. What was your name? Sue Ann. This is Sue Ann, Treasure. Wendy. And Wendy, yeah, the WW. <laughs> yes. Now, how do you manage? This is a Scorpio. You're a Scorpio. Wow. This is really, my sister is, I was going to say, was a Scorpio, but she still is a Scorpio. And they, 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 they can be a little bit difficult sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Can you be difficult? <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm asking the wrong person, obviously. I should be asking him. She does she sound like oh, Okay, no, I'm lovely. I'm wonderful. She, yeah, yeah. Never She's to wondering him. what I'm going to say. We've had this conversation before. Before, and you're going to have it again, too. Yeah, this I, is something that's never going to die. I have two daughters that are Scorpios, so... There's four they're, of you? They're, they're are you married? Yeah, no, we're not married. No, no, no. My well, you said so, she said it so definitely. No, 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 no. no not no, to no. another Scorpio. <laughs> <laughs> And you're sort of in the sidelines here, right? Oh, it's, 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 it's fun. It's Is it fun? fun? It's I, I would imagine. Yeah, there's never, especially never two of them and a man and a woman. It must be rather, <laughs> rather hectic because you never quite know what's going on. Now, Treasure, these are your girls that you have a, a, a group. Yes, ma'am. So are you the singers? Yes, ma'am. Yes, you, you, you're the singer. And you're the, do you rap yeah. or you sing? I sing. You sing. Sing, band leader, musician. And, uh, Sing band leader, musician. I guarantee he probably plays the piano. Nah, play a little. Uh, and you play. Do everything. You play. You know it's funny, I, and I absolutely love this. All people in the music industry seem to be playing all these instruments. Yes. Yeah. Why? I mean, this is amazing. A lot of years. Yeah. yeah well, music. <laughs> music's in yes. when it's in your soul. You. You know. You. Well, it's you're not in limited. Your soul. It's in your brain. It's yeah. in your body. It's in your life. Yeah. Yeah. Hello. It's so it's so big inside that you just can't limit yourself to one thing. You find out that one thing that you do well, yeah. but it's so exciting you want to touch you base. Do, what's the one thing you do is sing? I'm an inter singer entertainer. Singer entertainer. Correct. And you're a, you're a backup singer and a singer? She's yes, ma'am. Both of them are lead vocalists, but they're No, the, I believe this your little birdie told me um, that uh, you were originally signed by Purple Prince. Somebody told me that. It was a little birdie out there was floating. Yeah. I think it was a hummingbird. <laughs> it was like moving very, 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 very fast. Yeah. And you were one of the first people he actually signed. Yeah. Is that how, I mean, did you realize at that time how important that was? I had no idea. You, you had no idea what you just got yourself involved in. Yeah. You have to tell her about the story of when you first met him. <laughs> All right, let's have the story. Oh, yes. this, but the story when you first met the Prince. Stairs. So I... <clears throat> I met him in a club. I was singing. I probably had to been about 16 or 17. You were 16 or 17 years old. Mm -hmm. Okay. And um, he approached me. We met, introduced. He said, I'd like to work with you. I was like, okay. Um, well, 17, what did you know? You know <laughs> did you know who he was? I didn't really know who he was. I just know he came in with no shirt on in the club. <laughs> <laughs> and you certainly knew who he was and then. I, and I was kind of like turned off and I was... Oh, really? You know, I was kind of turned off. Did like, you feel that he didn't have any respect for you? No, no, no. No, no, no. no, you no. Just, how could you walk around? You're supposed to be on the beach. Right. <laughs> <laughs> You're not supposed to be in a nightclub. You're supposed to be on the beach. Right. So, I'm right. too sexy for my shirt before right. it came yeah, out. And this, and this particular was. club was not like a friendly club. You know, so. So it was an unfriendly club. Well, it was. Uh, <laughs> you had different I'm elites teasing. of people at this yes, club. Yes. You know? So it was rather an elitish club that you were singing at. Yeah, yeah. And also being 17 of the right. age, of, mm -hmm. you know, being young and being yeah. able to sing that, I would mm -hmm. imagine it was a very prestigious club, as we would say. Oh, the Elks, yeah, it was really prestigious, all right. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. um, but it, plus, my dad was a musician, so everybody. And he was there too. Well, well the, they all knew him, yeah, so yeah. they, you know, they would just all watch me. Yeah. All the so olders. they were watching to see what you were, they were watching, but also what did you do with Prince? Yeah, so. Back to Prince. Back to Prince. So anyway, um, he wanted to take me out, take me to lunch and talk to me about my career. And so, you know, I went home and told my family, you know, I met this. I met this guy, Prince, and this, and they were like, yeah, we, we, we've heard yeah, of him. We heard we of him. Who he is. And I was like, you, you know, 
So the next day I get up and get dressed. My sister's dressing me up and I, I he brings a doorbell. He's sitting on Are the you edge nervous? of I was terrified. <laughs> oh, no, sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I was terrified. And he's sitting on the edge. My mother had kind of like a chair like this. He's sitting on the edge. And um, my brother, uh, T.C. Ellis, who was with Prince, too, who did a record on in Graffiti Bridge. I mean, he did it. Yeah, he was in the movie. He was yelling up the stairs. Prince is downstairs. Come downstairs. <laughs> You're up there shaking. And like I'm shaking. Man. And my sister's like, it's going to be all right, Swan. Just worry. calm down, calm down. Get to the top of the stairs. I take one step and I roll road. down the whole flight of stairs onto the floor well, right that, by him. I said, hello. That's <laughs> <laughs> me. And he's, I've arrived. <laughs> and he looks at me just like this. <laughs> <laughs> So, reaction? I was just embarrassed. I just got up. And it was nothing said. It was nothing ever. And did you sit next to him when you got up? No, I just said, let's go. Because my brother and everybody well, else was laughing. They're, they're all laughing, laughing in the another room. So I just thought that story was funny. Yeah. 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 I mean, let's get it was, out of here real fast. Yeah, yeah. let's yeah. get out of here. <laughs> and so, later on through the years, some of the some of the people, like in the time, and some of the revolution people that were in, you know, would tell me, that he would always tell them that tell that story. That story. Well, it's a fascinating story. You know? <laughs> nobody's fallen totally for, nobody's fallen right for him that way before. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is really yes. falling for him. Yes. Right? yes. I mean, Pretty you know. much. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> but he never said anything else. I guess out of not wanting to embarrass did you, me. Did you date him? No. 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 I so never dated him. You never dated him, but you were involved in the band. And what was he? Did he allow you to sing your own songs? Well, he he was producing me solo outside. Oh, of really? That band. That's out of him. His, yeah. his, his singing. Yeah, he, At that time, he was quite popular, obviously. Well, he was on his way. He was, yeah, on his way. He was on his way, but he he wanted he was he already kind of. of and did, did you like that? Was he good to you and kind to you? He's very kind. Very yeah, well, nice. I've very that, that very much very, a gentleman yeah. until yeah. I couldn't hit a certain lick in the studio, and then he lost his mind. Really. So I always tell people, you think you've been abused by him. I'm the first one. <laughs> I, I told her just to I was write, verbally abused. I told her just to write her book titled with How I Feel for Prince. No. <laughs> Good one. Like oh, you yeah. should, no, you should title it, I Fell for Prince. Right, I, I Fell for Prince. I Fell for Prince. Exactly. And then explain the, the why, because yeah. that was like, oh, she was dating him and she was with him. But that's not the story. Right. Yeah. So that would be, that'd be a little yeah. well, you know, cute line. Everybody else kind of told a few so lies. From so from <laughs> <laughs> Really? Did they lie? Wow. That's People a whole other interview. I guess so. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> a, yeah. uh, How long were you with him? N not very long. A couple of years? Maybe about that. Yeah. yeah. You know. And, but and it was a great experience but for But it was you. a great experience and he actually ind indirectly got me my own deal. And what was your own deal? I had a solo deal on Warner Brothers at 18. Oh, how wonderful. Mm -hmm. How wonderful. And we had, um, we, and, um, but I was kind of out of the picture with him by then. By then they yeah. kind of oh, took you, me. Yeah, but you did your own thing and became your own name. Yes. And exactly. what name did you come under? Because I don't, I never pre interview anybody, so I don't know who anybody is. A uh, Sue Ann. Carl Sue Ann. Mm -hmm. So you came under Sue Ann. Yeah. Oh, yes, yes. W.W., what's up? <laughs> <laughs> Let's get to W.W. <laughs> My stories aren't as exciting as that. No, so yeah, but you're still exciting. No, no, no. <laughs> but it's not the excitement. You still have your own story. Yeah, and it's, 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 it's a good story. So what's your story? Uh, my story is I've been in Vegas going on two years now. Yeah. Uh, when I got here, I started doing the open mic and yeah, sure. um, karaoke. And then I met a, a lady, a lovely young lady. Uh, her name is Dorothy. And okay. she introduced me to Treasure. Yeah. And he was singing. Um, at an event, and uh, he was like, "Well, this is not your regular band." And he and was it like, wasn't, right? "No, no, no! It's boot camp." Uh oh! It is very, very. Well, very we know what boot camp is like. Kind of, you know, if you don't stand up straight or do that right, oh no, yeah. you've got to redo it. Oh, that, yeah, a hundred percent. Oh yeah. Uh, he's a perfectionist and he's passionate. <laughs> 
why I like that because she put a lovely word in the passion. And so yeah. you, you just got calmed down a little. You just got, <laughs> you just, you just got gentleized into it. He's not, he's not the go-getter all the time. Yeah. <laughs> he's passionate. He's passionate. Mm -hmm. You're like passionate that. for your profession. Yes. Very so much you so. want it to be perfect. At the same time, you want. Do, As can do, do you want to be possible. different? Oh, absolutely. Yeah, because I think I absolutely. always like to say to people, try to be different. Right. Try to put a beat in there that's different. It's like I've always thought of a lot of music with with rapping and, and all the different R and Bs and everything. Put a little Brazilian in there. Mm -hmm. Put a little bit of bongo in there. Put a little bit of jazz in there. Make it different. Yeah. We do yeah. that. You do that? Mm -hmm. yeah. Definitely. You, we, see, we, I knew he did that. See, yeah. I, 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 see? I read minds. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but the way the way that I do that the way that I do that is I've been doing this for fifty years, uh -uh. and st started, started very young. Well, started you were one very year young. old. Started very, <laughs> started, old. started very young. Started very young and came up in the city of Dayton, Ohio, which is known as the land of funk, and a lot of musicians. I came up. That under was funk. Yeah, funk music. Yes. F U N K. Yes, I was just wanted to clarify <laughs> that. <laughs> just in case my diction case. didn't slip come out the, like it's supposed to. A little slip of the tongue there. You know, <laughs> funk. 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 Yeah, funk. There you go. Yeah. But uh, I, you know, came up on a lot of the guys who uh, who kind of started the the funk revolution, yeah. starting with the Ohio players, mm -hmm. groups like Lakeside, Heat Wave, uh, 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 slave and I mean so many groups out of Dayton, Ohio, where I'm from. But I learned a lot what from those group? guys. What was the name of your group? I had a group called Crystal Love, which was the Crystal main. Crystal Love, what a pretty out name. Of Crystal Ohio. Love, Treasure. All the, you have all these beautiful names, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah. This one is going to come up with a Dream World or something. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. Yeah, but his it was vision. His, his, yeah, he's a visionary. Yeah, it's yeah, a pretty, yeah, pretty yeah. way. <laughs> it's not something out of the you know something very compassionate mm -hmm. you have. Yeah, going back to what you were saying, what 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 where the stimulation comes from is that when I hire musicians, I have a vision, but the way that is uh, uh, manifested is by the different musicians. They Some may have a, a, a funk background, yeah. R&B, uh, jazz, blues, and what you they bring. bring in. I bring it in to kind of make See, that gumbo that. work, make, make it, it work. Make it work, but make in a different way. It's yeah. the same tune, right. it's the right. same everything, but there's a little different beat, yeah. rather than that same beat all the right. time, because a lot of them, you got that same beat, they don't. Yeah. And I said, can we not have a different beat? There's, uh, is there more than one beat in this world? Yeah. 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 There, there is, but, but they seem to go for that one, so when there's something different. Yeah, also, how people listen with their eyes so is how if you're loving and passionate about what you're doing is your interpretation to get them to feel it the way that you feel it so yes. your your whole energy and spirit it's is being going passed to, down it's right. being passed through the whole yes, group right how big a group do you have we go from anywhere from five pieces to 12. <gasps> oh, I'd love to see the 12. It's, it's <laughs> that would, because oh, I like the, the, big, the, big, I like band the big stuff. Yeah. You know? On the average, we do about eight. About eight. That's still big. Yeah. yeah that is. That's yeah. Amazing. We do more than, we do, we're bigger now, than most. Are you doing online now? Is it Zoom and is it all this crazy stuff? We haven't, we haven't done, we haven't done any done of that yet. Yeah. We haven't okay. done any of the online Neither have stuff. I. I haven't, or I do something else on another show. But no, I haven't done this show on Zoom. Mm -hmm. We've decided mm -hmm. not to. Mm -hmm. um, because we were, we got called back anyway, because Peggy, the manager here, the pepper mill, gave me a phone call and said, Nina, would you like to come back? Are you kidding? Of course yes. I want to come back. Yeah. And it was a great call to get, to come back and yes. you know redo your show again. Yeah. It was absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. So where are you, what are you getting ready for? Well, right now, we've, uh, we're have we very honored and privileged uh, uh, to be a part of Ron McCrory's uh, Calazona Festival, which has started Calazone. out. The Calazona. The Calazona, I'm sorry, Calazona yeah, Festival, Calazone. which is which was going to be at Craig Ranch Park. But since the pandemic thing happened, we decided to, I guess he decided to, it would be better to do a, uh, a do Zoom it, uh, yes. and do it yeah. on, on the, the internet. Like sound stage but thing. Do you know, so I've, I've realized how difficult that demand. can be. Yes, yes Getting yes, everybody together, because you've now got them all in different parts of the world, you know. Mm -hmm. yeah. They're in this city, they're here, they're there, they're anywhere, but you have to get them coordinated. Mm -hmm. and that, right, be, right. that to me, I, I would think would be a nightmare, but the, I don't know, you all seem to be doing. Well, he's a smart right. man. He hired a few of us to take certain pieces of the pie to handle so he can yeah. handle so most he of the can administrative. That, so yeah, you're handling that, everything that main else. thing that needs to happen. So, as, and you know, I just had another group on, and um, I, I, this, this sounds like this is something very big and very different. Yes, yeah. yes. Well, why, why is this so different? Well, one of the things is, is that it's going to be, it's, it's the bottom, 
base of it is the all the uh, exciting entertainment that's right out of Las Vegas yeah. that a lot of people know about and some don't that they're going to be able to experience on this. That's why we've got and, them on here. And then he has he has the uh, he has the uh, actual stage play comedy. Uh, Obama versus Trump. This is going to be, this be the amazing. headline. <laughs> so be that combination amazing. of the stage play and all of this incredible talent out of Las Vegas with us and all the other groups that's going to be on there. It's this going seems to be such an wonderful. honor to be able to do this. That's I mean, to, yeah, to, but yeah. also you know, because Vegas is, um, you know, Vegas is Vegas. It's the entertainment place of the world that nobody can perform anywhere, right. and, and which is right. this, uh, especially the big bands, especially the people like you. You know, you, it's very hard to get the, this whole thing. On, on on the internet in different parts, mm -hmm. coordinated. Mm -hmm. I would imagine that'd be very very difficult. But for them, it's not difficult. That it's, you're doing it because you can't do it this way. It's a challenge. But we've been blessed. We are in. Um, Fantasy Springs Casino, which is in Indio, California, right outside Palm Springs. We're I know there. the casino very we're well. There, we're there November the 6th and 7th, December the 4th and 5th, and we're there for New Year's as well. That's so amazing. So we've been blessed. So mm -hmm. so you'll be performing there, and will you have a band of eight or something as big as we, you can? We, we, we have a band of eight. We were there in uh, September, mm -hmm. September, was it? Yeah. We and you there. were there, with, obviously, you're all, so you all travel yes. together. Yes. You have a husband? No. You have a husband? No. You have a wife. I was going to say you have a husband. <laughs> I'm changing up my talk. You have a wife. I have a wife who is actually uh, my business partner, which uh, of Dreams so from the LLC. Mm -hmm. Yes. So she helps you. So yeah. what, so I'm just seeing it very coordinated. Nobody is held back with anything, so you can all sort of right. kind of do your own right. thing yeah, and get out there and have yeah. no sort of little cogwheels in the way and right. everything else, which is, is blessed for yes. you. Because very blessed. Uh, She's very my brains and beauty, beauty on the side. Mm -hmm. She's brains Keep and beauty and a wife. Yeah. Don't forget yeah. the wife. Keep the business that's moving. Right. Keep the business. <laughs> well, that's all about you know. If you don't keep your business moving and you keep keep everything going, it, it falls by wayside. Um, how can anybody? Do you ever perform on your own, or you just perform with the band? Yes, she does. All right. So <laughs> she's trying can, to be humble. How can she people does. reach you? Get your uh, web page. Yeah, they can reach me at uh, Sue Ann Carwell Music One at Gmail dot com. Okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, everything for Treasure and Dreamstone, which will include them on many course, projects. Yes. Uh, look us up at DreamstoneLLC.com. You'll find Dreamstone out more. LLC. Dreamstone, LLC. one word, LLC.com. Okay. And look for that new single coming out by Treasure. Oh, what was this? Oh, come it's on. It's called Gucci when you look at the advertisement Gucci on or social Gucci? media. Gucci. G U C C I. Gucci, like Gucci, yeah. Gucci, Gucci, eh? Yeah. We yeah, so I Gucci. Used to go Gucci all the time, but uh, we are so Gucci. We weren't singing. Oh, maybe we were singing. A yeah. Nice dance, come together song. Absolutely Unity. fabulous. Unity. Yes. Unity. That's what we need right now. How can we? W W. Where are you? I'm Wendy Washington. Wendy Washington. 1970 at Gmail. 1970. You were born in 1970. Oh wow. Oh wow, you're young. <laughs> You know, they're all young. We got you know, a baby in the group. I'm a baby born. You're a baby born. <laughs> I don't know what I am, but anyway, I know I came from my mum. Yeah. It was originated with my mum and my dad. Yes. Nice. <laughs> That's how it got originated. <laughs> they're absolutely amazing, thank and um, thank you for coming on the thank show. Thank you for thank having you. us. Absolutely. We really appreciate Anytime it. Anytime we can have you back again, and you know, let us know what you're doing, and come thank back, you. and we'll give you the time. And that's what we do. We actually. Um, Vegas Live with Ninon, with Steve, who is the producer, and Lynn, who is my talent director, and then everybody else who gets themselves involved. Keith, everybody gets themselves involved. Without all these people, this does not work. Mm -hmm. um, so because of everybody out there and the entertainment business, they all come on here. And I actually had a young lady that actually trains and, and has something to do with um, horses. So it was a little different movement, but it was still dancing because you dance with the horses. Why not? Wow. Um, we've got another guest coming up, I believe, so I'm a busy girl today. Uh, we'll be right back. Don't forget to uh, subscribe. YouTube, Vegas Live with Nino. Thank you for watching.
100 proof. Whoa, lights, camera, action. Cause we looking for satisfaction. Don't matter where you get it, long as you're with it. Me and my crew straight macking. Dressed to the lines, who we find. Looking this good, it could be a crime. Making y'all stop on a dime like. Making y'all stop on a dime. We're not playing around. We're here to get down. To motivate your soul, we want every, every. I didn't know, hey Cause we so Gucci And can't nobody tell me nothing Cause we so Gucci Gucci from head to toe Cause we so Gucci And watch me do a little something, something Cause we so Gucci Gucci from head to toe Everybody got a right to be a star Everybody got a right to raise the bar Everybody got a right to stand right up Everybody got a right to raise your cup Everybody got a right to get on down The presidential debate with Trump versus Obama. Oh, I'm telling you right now, I'm Barack Obama, the president, of course. I know you all miss me. This is a debate that you don't want to miss. If you enjoy the last show we just did and all the other shows, don't forget to subscribe Vegas Live with Nino on YouTube. We've got plenty more coming up and our guests are amazing. So don't forget to subscribe. We'll be right back. Vegas Live with Ninon.